in class 9th so here we are again with the another type of tissue that is connective tissue we have very successfully we are able to understand the um, epithelial tissue and you all have well um, studied it and res you have responded well in your revision test also so here um, let's uh, discuss today that what is connective tissue actually uh, and uh, this is very uh, interesting lecture today so i will request you to that listen to each and every point very carefully you will enjoy this lecture so connective tissue just look at the term most of the times i very uh, maximum times i say just look at the term just look at the term because see you don't need to cram the things you need to understand the concept connective when we say connect connection it means a very great bonding there is there only then we are able to connect with the things you are able to connect with me you are able to connect with biology if you able to understand it if you only just feel it as a burden then you will never be able to connect with me so same here is the connective tissue is in our body it connects various it binds various tissues together in any organ uh, it is the one another important point about connective tissue is and it's most abundant tissue among all the animal tissues we have to discuss nervous tissue we have to discuss muscular tissue so we have already discussed epithelial so out of all of these tissues the most abundant is the connective tissue if we just uh, say, uh, talk about its function it is a very helpful uh, tissue it supports it support the organ it help in the you can say it help in the making its structure uh, or giving the shape to any particular organ when we talk about support support then like uh, it's like giving the structure giving the shape to a particular organ secondly it help in packaging of the organs of the body suppose you have to you have a gift and you have to give it to a uh, your uh, friend right what usually you do sometimes you make it very beautiful representation right you pack it same our organs it means after packing that is now well protected also as well as beautiful in presentation also same our organs they are well protected after packaging with the help of connective tissue so connective tissues they help in packaging of the or internal organs of the body which are deep inside our body then second is help in holding it help in holding to uh, another tissues and two organs together or the muscles or the bones together so binding it helps in holding it helps in binding making the connection so all things they revolve around this connective word that they help in binding supporting as well as packaging let's see that how do they look like what are their characteristics they are usually loosely packed loose they are not very tightly packed they are large they have large intercellular spaces it means i when we say loosely packed this second line is very very clear when we say something is tightly packed there will be no intercellular spaces when something is loosely packed there will be so much intercellular spaces now if there will be space it will be filled with some material definitely so here it is filled with jelly like substance which we are calling it as a matrix so here you can see this ground substance this is all completely these all cells they are very far from each other right and this here is a space and this space is filled this space is called actually your matrix and on this matrix there are all the cells are placed it can be your bone cells it can be your uh, blood vessels like i have written here blood capillaries so these all are present on the matrix matlab aapke paas ek soil it's like just imagine the tree for tree to grow usko hold kis pe karna hai he needs something so that what something is that is a soil it needs a base same yahan pe hamare jo hamara connective tissue hai that form a matrix because cells are loosely packed so they are filled with the matrix and now talk about types of the connective tissue first is blood very very important ligaments and tendons areolar tissue bone 
cartilage adipose tissue blood you know that which moves throughout the body ligaments and tendons we are going to talk about the muscles bones as well as areolar tissue areolar tissue is again loosely packed tissue bones कार्टिलेज जो हमारा नोज टिप आप टच करोगे अभी राइट नाउ इफ यू विल टच योर नोज इट इज वेरी फ्लेक्सिबल राइट इट इज सॉफ्ट सो दैट इज कार्टिलेज देन इज योर फैट सेल्स फैट सेल्स विच कीप स्टोरिंग इन अवर बॉडी दे आर एडिपोज टिश्यू से अबाउट ब्लड्स फर्स्ट ब्लड एज यू नो दैट इफ इन थ्रू आउट द बॉडी ब्लड इज फ्लोइंग राइट एंड दिस ब्लड इज फ्लोइंग इन every tissue every organ so it connects it is a connective tissue right it is flowing it is flowing throughout all your body organs so it connects your all tissues as well as organs of your body it has again um, uh, it is not that blood has so many cells uh, so where are these cells present it needs some soil so i am just now uh, comparing this soil with the base it's like uh, i have a table and on that table i can place my different different types of things so same yahan pe bhi blood hai blood mein bahut sare cells hain but these cells they are not in air they are placed somewhere so that place is your matrix it is a ground substance in the blood which is called plasma see this is a your vessel vessel is like your artery i already told you artery veins right capillaries if is if this vessel is thinnest then it will be capillaries ye jo aapki arteries aur veins hain inke beech mein kya flow kar raha hai blood now this blood is flowing and this blood has a fluid blood is a connective tissue and inside this blood it has a fluid which is called plasma as you can see this this uh, these uh, yellow portion this is called your plasma right and this plasma has many type of cells this plasma has protein salts as well as hormones as well as in this plasma we have many kind of blood cells rbcs wbcs platelets many of you have uh, almost aware of these cells rbcs your red blood cells which contains pigment that is hemoglobin just ki uh, because of this our blood is red in color then jo hamari body ko fight karne mein help karte hain to with bacteria with viruses those are your white blood cells and those when jab aapko koi cut lag jata hai you are facing any kind of injury at that time when those which help in clotting of blood aapka blood jo ek immediately ruk jata hai cut lagne ke baad that is because of the platelets where are these all are present they are present in the blood but we are in the blood in the blood they are present in the plasma so plasma has many proteins it has salts it has hormones as well as in the plasma there are these three types of blood cells so as you can see this is our red blood cells which help in the formation of our blood also and it contains hemoglobin then these are the platelets which help in clotting function right and these are the white blood cells which help in providing us the immunity immunity to our body so i will request you that if you better if you draw this diagram this will help you to relate to your blood next is the function of blood now we are saying that blood is passing through or connecting almost all the tissues and all organs so it it means it is taking something na it is not just doing its uh, it is just ideal sitting there free baitha hai no aisa nahi hai it is helping in transportation of gases transportation of food which is coming through your stomach so it is flowing throughout the body it is carrying hormones it is carrying waste and sending it to the kidney or to the different parts of the body gases to the lungs food to the intestine in the stomach as well as hormones to the reproductive structure and other parts of your the body so blood transport blood perform the main functions in our body many many important functions gases transportation food transportation hormones transportation waste transportation to the particular body parts then this was our first connective tissue that is blood then let's see talk about second that is the ligaments and tendons ligaments see 
ligaments connect your bone to bone this is a because we are talking about connective tissue so we have to say that now where is the connection so here you can see this is one bone and here is one bone these two bones they are really hard and they cannot join those two hard surfaces they cannot uh, they do cannot join together now how to join these so there is a smooth surface there is a smooth surface which help in joining of bone to bone and this is called your ligament sometimes many students maximum of the times uh, they do it wrong in the exam they write ligament as the muscle to bone connection and tendon as the bone to bone connection how to remember it it's just like uh, uh, low baby to bone it's like you have to say it very uh, you know funny way low baby to bone so you can baby is your one bone and bone is your another bone and bone to bone connection will be l for your ligament so low baby to bone oh wow so this is this is the one funniest way to remember this so bone to bone baby to bone right so low so you always say oh low baby to low you always you need to understand low baby to bone so that will be your ligament how is your ligament it is not um, it is very elastic definitely we need something which should be elastic which should have strength and very less matrix so ligaments they are usually they are uh, elastic they have strength and they have very less matrix means ground substance bahut kam hota hai inme tendon is muscle to bone tendons always uh, goes from join from muscle see these are the our muscles right in our if you will say that in your legs and this is our bone the between connection between muscle to bone is your tendon like boy top in maths right don't uh, forget just about in boy top maths boy is your bone t is your tendon and maths is your muscles right you will never do it wrong in this way boy top maths right or boy topped maths anyway this is the these are the small uh, you know way to remember it and we low baby to bone so ligament bone to bone and boy top maths bone to muscle muscle to bone that is connection with the tendons tendons are usually less elastic they are fibrous they are like the fibers as you can see here this is like the fibers uh, fibers jaise hote hai dhage jaisa and with the great strength and more uh more matrix in me jo substance jo material jisse ye filled hote hain that is more as compared to the ligaments so ligaments they are bone to bone connection and muscle to bone connection is boy topped in maths so topped is your tendon so this diagram is very uh, very uh, carefully you have to draw this actually this much portion is sufficient for you to understand this is the muscle you have to draw and connection is the tendon and here is one bone this bone is continuing and another bone is joining with the help of ligament so here the third one is we are having areolar tissues areolar is again loosely packed cells matrix contains fibers and macrophages as you can uh, just see that uh, these are the networks these are loosely packed so these are thread like fibers there are you can see two types of fibers one are like these very thick and one are very thin so i will just uh, which are very thick fibers they are called collagen fibers made up material collagen thick fibers they are thick elasticity hamesha thin hone se zyada aati hai so thin fibers they are the elastic fibers they this is complete this is areolar tissue and uh, these purple these in between they have the nuclei so which kind of uh, diagram you actually have to draw this as you can see these are our collagen fibers 
these uh, thick ones they are collagen fibers and these network type they are our reticulate fibers so fibroblast these are the cells which are uh, connecting with the help of your areolar tissue basically areolar tissue is a connection with the various kind of tissues it is joined skin to the muscles it help in repairing of the tissues it is found around the blood vessels it is found around the internal organs right so as you can see there is plasma also and the blood cells also that is macrophages is here mast cell is there so there is a connection then fibers are also there so this is a loosely packed cells as well as making connection with the internal body parts it mostly in the fibers and fibers you can mention the elastic as well as your collagen fibers then maximum it contains also macrophages as you can see these macrophages which engulf your virus which engulf your outer um, material or outer i will say bacteria or any kind of uh, how, any kind of uh, you know germ which coming into your body so it eats them so coming inside your body so macrophages they eat them so macrophages fibers like two type of fibers here you can mention elastic and collagen fibers function help in packaging help in repairing join muscle skin to muscles found in blood vessels they fills the space just just look there there's these are filling the space network tissue collagen fibers they are continuously they are present like they are finding anywhere present everywhere so they are filling the space between the internal organs and support them next is your bone so bone is your it is a skeleton because it is a hard right it is a non flexible tissue it supports body as well as anchors muscles provide the help to your muscles in supporting them so it is a supporting tissue if i ask you what is the supporting tissue in your body that is the bone right so it is a supporting tissue it is very strong non flexible tissue in which usually bone cells are embedded in a hard matrix and this matrix again base that is made up of calcium and phosphorus compound listen to me again very carefully it is very strong something when it is strong it is hard hard it provide it making the shape of our body it is providing the skeletal structure if it is hard it will not be flexible so it will it is non flexible and bone cells bone cells they are embedded in a hard matrix so its base soil imagine kar lo so its base jiske upar cells present hai suppose this is base this is matrix yahan pe hamare bone cells present hai this base is made up of phosphorus and calcium so bone is a porous tissue porous tissue means jiske through air and material they can pass through as well as it is made up of not dead cells it is skeleton it provide the structure so it is made up of living cells and what is the name of those cells those cells are known as osteocytes or osteoblasts the cells of the bones they are known as osteocytes and osteoblasts and the place on which this uh, cells are present it is made up of calcium and phosphorus aapne suna hoga hum bolte hain bachcho ko drink milk drink milk it will strong it will make your bones strong why we say your milk has calcium as well as it is phosphorus compounds they are going to make your bone strong so those children uh, out of even you if you are not drinking enough milk then start drinking milk today right they will help you to make more active your body will be more active if you will take calcium enough proper amount calcium as well as Uh, phosphorus if i have to say the functions uh, functions of the bone function it provides shape it provides shape bones provide shape as well as it protects because it is hard so it protect the important 
organs so this is all about our bone which you need to understand okay this diagram is uh, you can draw this diagram to show your bone right no problem with that but yes here is to make you understand just look at the uh, structure of this bone right it is like a ball shaped uh, from the this side and this ball is or uh, this uh, bone is also round in its shape how can you can is it possible that you can join these two surfaces no you need a connection so that connection is our लेगामेंट दीज टू हार्ड सर्फेसिस अब आज ही आप कोई दो हार्ड चीज़ें लेना आ, कोई भी टू हार्ड चीज़ जिसको आप आपस में कनेक्ट करके देखना नहीं होगा जब तक उसके बीच में पॉकेट्स नहीं होंगी दे विल नॉट बी फिट तो ये भी सेम हमारी बोन है बोन है दीज टू आर द हार्ड वंस हार्डेस्ट वन कैसे दो हार्ड स्ट्रक्चर को आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हो यू नीड समथिंग कनेक्शन दैट इज़ योर लेगामेंट और यहाँ पे एज यू कैन सी दीज आर अवर मसल्स राइट एंड हेयर इज अवर बोन सो दीज मसल्स नाउ हैज टू ज्वाइन विद दिस बोन हाउ टू ज्वाइन ए कितना सॉफ्ट है और ए कितना हार्ड है सो दैट कनेक्शन इज डन बाय द टेंडन टेंडन ऐसा स्पेस बनाता है कि दीज टू कैन ज्वाइन टूगेदर द लास्ट देन देयर इज द फ्यू थिंग्स ओके द लास्ट वन इज अवर कार्टिलेज कार्टिलेज हैज वाइडली स्पेस्ड सेल्स मीन्स एज यू कैन सी दी सेल्स दे आर कितना एक दूसरे से दे आर फार फ्रॉम ईच अदर वाइडली स्पेज सेल इट इज हार्ड बट इट इज इलास्टिक what is about bone is it elastic it is non flexible and your cartilage bone and cartilage right usually hum bolte hain bone and cartilage so cartilage is hard but it is elastic softer than the bone just uh, pinch your nose tip nose tip pe just aap ek hath uh, press karo soft right this is soft so matrix is your अवर मैट्रिक्स जहाँ पे ये कार्टिलेज सेल्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं दिस मैट्रिक्स इज सॉलिड बट स्टिल इलास्टिक इलास्टिसिटी कहाँ से आई है इसमें ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड दिस प्रोटीन इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ड्राइन राइट दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ड्रीन ये इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है आपके एम सी क्यूज के लिए भी अदरवाइज ऑल्सो दैट इज वाई वी कैन बेंड अ कार्टिलेज अपना ईयर को टच करिए ईयर के आउटर पार्ट पिन्ना को टच करिए ईयर पिन्ना दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ योर कार्टिलेज नोज टिप इट इज ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ कार्टिलेज बिकॉज इट इज इलास्टिक नो स्टेप आप कितनी बार टच कर लो इट इज इलास्टिक इट इज नॉट योर बोन इट इज कार्टिलेज सो इट स्मूथन द बोन सर्फेस एट द ज्वाइंट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दिस दैट इट स्मूथन द बोन सर्फेस मैंने अभी आपको बोला कि ये दोनों जैसे बहुत हार्ड है राउंड है सो so, दो हार्ड सरफेसेस कभी भी ज्वाइन नहीं कर सकते सो so, कार्टिलेज क्या करता है बोन का जो ये सर्फेस है उसको सॉफ्ट बनाता है स्पेशली जब टू बोन्स हैज टू ज्वाइन एट द ज्वाइंट्स एट द ज्वाइंट स्पेसिफिकली इट स्मूथन द बोन सरफेस वेयर इट इज फाउंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू नोज टिप ईयर पिना इवन इन द ट्रैक या ट्रैक या जो आपका ईयर कैरी कर रहा है वहाँ पे भी इट इज कार्टिलेज लैरिंग्स लैरिंग्स इज योर वॉइस बॉक्स जहाँ से आवाज आती है प्रोड्यूस होती है साउंड बॉक्स दैट ऑल्सो is made up of your which tissue cartilage so here is this structure you have to draw that this cartilage is your hairline cartilage which is usually that is uh, we found in joints at the joints what is the structure of cartilage as you can see there is a there is a pocket uh, suppose in your shirts or in uh, skirts also there is a pocket imagine that pocket as a lacuna or is pocket mein mujhe kuch rakhna hai what what can i place i have to place my cells and these are called chondrocyte cells and ab ye pade kahan pe hain aapki pocket mein aapki pocket kiski bani hai cloth ki aur yahan pe hum us cloth ko kya bol rahe hain we are saying it hairline matrix so cartilage cells they are known as chondrocytes these are the chondrocytes where are these chondrocytes placed in your pocket that is that pocket is called lacuna aapki pocket kiski bani hai 
that is made up of the matrix hairline matrix so lacuna is like a pocket in which chondrocytes are present last one is adipose tissue hum bolte hain that we are our body is getting fatty fatty why fatty because it the because of these tissues these tissues adipose tissues they are the they are the tissues which store fats it is found below the skin as well as between the internal organ now you can just imagine that fat cells which are internally present internal organs may present hote hain they act like a insulator they act uh, like a protection they are very protected it they act like a cushion aapka cushion mein kya fill hota hai cushion is filled with the cotton right or sometime with the fibrous material these days so same is that cushion jo aapki uh, work karta hai that work is done by adipose tissue in our body how does it look like this is the structure of adipose tissue as you can see uh, they have they have round they are round oval shaped you can cells oval shaped cells aur ye oval shaped cells ke paas hai kya right what are these what are these bigger uh, structure these are fat droplets these are fat droplets or sometime here it is written they are fat globules oval shaped cells which are having fat droplets present they are below the skin and protect our tissue what is their function more you can write down they stores fat they act as insulator as well as i told you that they act as cushion which cushion we can write down they protect our body so they act as shock absorbing cushion when our body is sometime there is an injury that uh, that shock there is sudden shock sudden sudden injury the internal organs they are protected well protected with your fat cells also so this is a shock absorbing cushion specially around the delicate organs delicate organs uh, you can mention here examples which you know that is the kidney so it store fat it act as insulator act as a shock absorbing cushion so this is our adipose tissue structure outer is the cell membrane then it has the nucleus this one is nucleus and then the space जिसके अंदर एक्चुअली आपकी फैट्स एक्यूमुलेट हो रहा है दीज आर अवर फैट ड्रॉपलेट सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अवर एडिपोस टिश्यू रिकेप्चुलेशन लेट्स क्विकली सी दैट विद दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू नेम दैट टिश्यू दैट इज मोस्ट अबंडेंट इन एनिमल्स दैट इज द कनेक्टिव टिश्यू द टिश्यू दैट हेल्प इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ सब्सटांसिस टू द वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज योर ब्लड वाई दिस ब्लड कॉल्ड कनेक्श tissue tissue it is connecting the different parts of cells tissues or cells or you can say tissues and organs of the body ligaments and tendon you can easily differentiate now as well as areolar and adipose tissue areolar you know that areolar contains the fibers and adipose tissue contains the fat cells so here uh, we have completed our second tissue that is called your connective tissue i hope this lecture is i have made this lecture a little bit long but go through this either in the two uh, parts but go through uh, very carefully and uh, i hope that you are able to understand these term so i will meet you with another lecture till then take care have a good day